how are you doing? That's great! Today is the last day of our online vacation Bible school. My name is Ate Maureen, welcoming you all to our fifth day! I raise my hands and hold like this and bow my head and close my eyes and pray. Most heavenly and gracious Father, thank you for this wonderful day. Thank you for all the blessings and graces you have showered upon us. Thank you also for waking us up with a smile on our faces and restoring our strength for today's activity. We thank you, Jesus, for the past four successful, enjoyable, and fun filled days. Continue to bless us and guide us as we continue our VBS today. Bless our teachers, the stories, and all the activities we will do. We pray that the lesson we will learn will always be remembered and will put to practice as well as the lesson in the past four days. We thank you, Jesus, for everything and will bring back all the glory, praises, and adoration. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Enjoy! Please raise your right hand and repeat after me. Pledge to the Philippine flag. I pledge allegiance to the Philippine flag and to the country it represents with honor, justice, and freedom. Exercised by a godly people who are nature-loving humane and patriotic. Please raise your right hand and repeat after me. Pledge to the Christian flag. I sincerely pledge my allegiance to the Christian flag and to the Savior for whose kingdom it stands. One brotherhood uniting all Christian in service and in love. Please extend your right hand to the Bible. Pledge to the Bible. I pledge allegiance to the Bible. 
God's Holy Word. I will make it a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. I will hide its words in my heart that I might not sin against God. The Savior of the world And now We can call Him friend God sent His Son He's the Savior of the world And now We can call Him friend Jesus Savior Jesus Savior Kids, our theme verse for this year's Vacation Bible School is taken from the book of John, chapter 15, verse 13. All together, let's recite this. Greater love has no one than this, that someone laid down his life for his friends. And now, let's do it with actions. John Chapter 15, verse 13 Greater love has no one than this, that someone would lay down his life for his friends. Let's do it again. Greater love has no one than this, that someone would lay down his life for his friends. Kids, take pictures or videos of ourselves reciting our memory verses or listening to our stories or doing our arts and crafts and even listening or dancing with our songs and post it online using the hashtag BBS2021 and hashtag Jesus Save Your Friend. Before I start my story, let me ask you first a question. Do you love your mom and dad? Do you have friends? Do you love them? Or do you have pets like cats, dogs, rabbits, and many more? How much do you love them? That's great to hear! Now, let me share with you a wonderful story in the Bible. Listen carefully! On one occasion, an expert in the law 
stood up to test Jesus. Teacher, he said, what must I do to inherit the eternal life? What was written in the law? Jesus replied, how do you read it? He answered, love the Lord with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind and with all your strength. Love your neighbors as well. You have answered correctly, Jesus replied. Do this and you will live. But, you know, he wanted to justify himself. So he asked Jesus, And who is my neighbor? In reply, Jesus said this, A man was going down from Jerusalem to Jericho. When he was attacked by robbers, they stripped him, bit him, and went away, leaving him dead. Now, a priest, listen carefully, a priest happened to be going down the same road, and when he saw that man, he passed by on the other side. So too, a Levite passed by on the same road, and when he saw him, he passed by on the other side. But a Samaritan, as he traveled, came where the man was, and when he saw him, he took pity on him. He went to him, bandaged his wounds, pouring an oil and wine. Then he put the man on his own donkey, brought him into an inn, and took care of him. Then, the next day, he paid the innkeeper. Look after him, he said, and when I return, I will pay an extra expense you may have. Now, kids, let me ask you this. Which one of these three do you think was a neighbor to, a, to the man who fell into the hands of the robbers? Is it the priest, the Levite, or the Samaritan? Right! It was the Samaritan. So the Lord told him to do the same thing as the Samaritan did. Kids, this story tells us the greatest commandment is to love God with all our heart, mind, soul, and strength, and to love our neighbor as we love ourselves. Now, what it means to love God with all our heart and with all our soul and strength? We should love Him above everything. We should love God more than our parents and friends and everything we have. And also, as we love God, He also wants us to love others. Even if we don't know that person, we should help her or him and be good to them. That's it for today, kids, and I hope that you have learned a lesson and apply it into our lives. For our memory verse, our memory verse is found in the book of John chapter 13, verse 17. Again, it's found in the book of John chapter 13, verse 17. Let's read it all together. Now that you know all these things, God will bless you for doing them. Again, now that you know all these things, God will bless you for doing them. Again, John chapter 13, verse 17. Now that you know all these things, God will bless you for doing them. Now, let's do it with action. John chapter 13, verse 17. Now that you know all these things, God will bless you for doing them. 
one more time. John chapter 13, verse 17. Now that you know all these things, God will bless you for doing them. Faster. John chapter 13, verse 17. Now that you know all these things, God will bless you for doing them. And now, do it by yourself. Very good! You know what it is? It's game time! So, I, at the Angel, prepared three questions for you to answer. You need to answer these three questions for you to get three stars. Are you ready? Let's begin! For our first question, who asked Jesus the question? Again, who asked Jesus the question A doctor B disciple or C lawyer I'll give you five seconds to answer time's up the correct answer is correct letter C the lawyer for our second question, who attacked the man in the parable of Jesus who was going to Jerusalem from Jericho? Again, for our second question, who attacked the man in the parable of Jesus who was going to Jerusalem from Jericho? A. Robber B. Snake C. Levite I'll give you five seconds to answer. Time's up! What is the answer? Correct! It's letter A, robber. For our third and final question, who was the real neighbor in the story? Is it A, priest? B, Levite or C Samaritan I'll give you five seconds to answer Time's up What is the correct answer? Very good you got it right It's C Samaritan Congratulations
Hi there, kids! Together, let's have fun as we have our arts and craft time. Today, we will be making a very special craft called the verse chart. The things that you will need are the following. Construction papers, sticks, coloring and drawing materials, yarn, scotch tape, scissors, and glue. Got it already? Perfect, let's start! First, stick two to three construction papers forming a long rectangle. Then, roll two sticks on top and on the bottom side of the rectangle. Stick it using a glue or a tape. After that, decorate the borders of the chart using your coloring materials. On top of the chart, write the words, My Verse Chart. You can decorate it with flowers, animals, or any design that you want. Now, you can paste pockets on whichever part of the chart. Then, put scotch tapes on the remaining spaces in between the chart. This will serve as the sticking area of the chart. Finally, cut out many small rectangles where you can write memory verses. Roll a tape and stick one paper at a time on the sticking area of the chart. Awesome job! There you have it, your own verse chart. You can write as many verses as you want or every verse that you learn and encounter every day. This will help you memorize and be reminded of God's truth and promises which is written on the Bible. Did you listen well to our story earlier? That's good! Welcome to our Good Deeds Time! You know kids, our story for today tells us about the greatest commandment in the Bible. Therefore, we must first love God with all our heart, mind, soul and strength obey and pray and read his word second to love other people and care for them to love other people and 
care for life. I pray that you will remember these things so Jesus will be happy and glorified. That's it, kids, and the Lord bless you. Children, let us pray for our closing prayer. Then follow after me. I raise my hands and fold like this and bow my head and close my eyes and pray. Most gracious Heavenly Father, thank you for this day. And thank you because you are so good and faithful to us, your children. Father God, thank you also for this kind of ministry through BBS that it can minister to us, your children, since day one and until now, that it leads us, it te that it teaches, teaches us how to demonstrate love to our neighbor and even to those who need help. Help us, O God, to be concerned about others and to show our kindness to anyone, even to those people who hurt us. Help us, O God, to live as citizens of kingdom by loving our neighbor. In Jesus' name, Amen. At yan lamang sa araw na ito, mga bata. Hanggang sa muli, paalam! Son, he's the savior of the world, and now we can call him friend. God sent his son, he's the savior of the world, and now we can call him friend.